Welcome back viewers. In today's video, we will be checking out the Ubuntu Studio that was installed on Linux Mint XFC 21.1. So let us start. I will log in into the Linux Mint XFC desktop. And then we will check the Ubuntu Studio that was installed in the earlier video. So the resolution is properly scaled. So this is one of the fantastic things about Linux Mint. Everything works properly, all features work, everything works, there are no bugs and system is completely reliable and user friendly. So uh, we are now greeted with the welcome screen. I will uh, shut it down. We don't require the welcome screen. Now let us directly go to the application menu to check out what uh, different applications we have installed. So if you remember in the installation video, I have shown you uh, during the start what different uh, Standard applications come with the Linux Mint XFC desktop. So now we will uh, check out what are the differences, what new applications were installed in each of the sections. So here you can see. So not much uh, in the accessories section. See, these are most of all of them are the standard uh, Linux Mint applications only. Nothing here. Uh, from the Ubuntu Studio. Now let us go over to the new uh, section that is added. This is called the audio production section. So this is automatically added by the Ubuntu installer. So here you can see a host of different audio applications that are installed. Aeolus is an organ emulator. So you can emulate an organ. Agor Dejo is a music and audio production session manager. So you can manage your audio sessions from using this Agor Dejo. Azure Dejo Continue is a, a session manager based on NSM. Continue last session, start as, as a tray icon. So it will move over to the tray icon and it will be there from the system start to the system end, from the session start to the session end. So you can manage your audio session. Order 6 is nothing but the application to record, mix, and master multimedia track audio. 81 is the uh, application to Correct the pitch of a voice singing out of uh, singing out of tune. So you can correct the pitch of a voice that is going out of tune. Audacity is application to record and edit audio files. Carla is the audio plugin host. So you can use different audio plugins and connect with the audio source. And this is the Carla control. This is the application to control the Carla. That is the audio plugin host. So you can configure the different audio plugins available in the system using the Carla. DG edit is the drum gizmo, drum kit editor. So there are different drum bits are available in, as standard and you can configure those. Echo mixer is to mix the echo with uh, the audio. So the recorded audio, you can add the echo to the uh, recorded digital audio using this application. NV24 control is a uh, graphical mix. Uh, I have not used this, but it is uh, some kind of uh, mixer, graphical. So it is maybe a video, uh, it might be a mixer to mix the different uh, uh, audio from the different channels. So you can, uh, you can have multiple channel audio and you can mix it using the NV24. I am not uh, expert in this. I only use the video, video production. I am I have good knowledge of video production. I am not into much of audio production. This is for the musicians. So please uh, uh, spare me. I am not an expert, but I can just show you which applications are there. FF ADO mixer. It is an audio mixer for the FireWire devices. Suppose you have got some devices with the FireWire uh, ports. You can use those and uh, use those uh, audio sources uh, using the FireWire ports and then you can do the audio mixing. This is Foo YC20 is an organ synthesizer. So you can use the organ to synthesize different sounds. Gion kick is, uh, it is synthesizes elements of percussion. So you can have uh, audio, uh, uh, you can produce audio. Uh, that, uh, that is uh, what exactly, uh, just let me think over what exactly to use which exact words. It synthesizes elements of percussion. So you, you can have different percussion instrument, different drums. So you can synthesize, you can make, create artificial percussion audio and then you can mix it with the uh, audio track. Guitarix 
is a sim simple mono amplifier it is a, just a amplifier it will amplify the original audio track as per the setting hda jack retask it will re retask the audio jacks for the hda that is the high definition audio sound driver and hdsp configuration so it is a hammer fold dsp control so this is digital signal processing control application and this is the hdsp mixer that is the uh, the uh, DSP matrix mixer control GUI. Texter is a Yamaha DX7 modeling DSS. I, I don't know how it is a, some kind of plugin for the Yamaha synthesizer. Hydrogen is used to synthesize the drum sequences. Jack keyboard is there. Jack mixer is there. It is a multi channel audio mixer. Application for the Jack audio connection kit. It is a virtual keyboard for the Jack MIDI. This is the Jack keyboard. LMMS is a music sequencer and synthesizer. It is uh, Linux. It is open source. You can use it. You don't require any license. It is uh, free to use. And these are different control surface emulators. You can see it here. Meter, which is the audio level meter for the Jack. So you can control the audio level using this for the your Jack. Mudita 24 is a ALSA GUI control, so you can control the ALSA, uh, you can say ALSA uh, sound uh, for the NV24 sound card. So this is, it is a GUI for controlling the different sound cards that use ALSA. ALSA is the Linux uh, sound architecture. MuseCore 3 is the uh, to create, play and uh, print sheet music. So you can create uh, uh, music in text format and then you can use this to uh, create audio tracks. New session manager is there. It is a legacy GUI. Petrifu is a sound sampler. PhaseX is the phase harmonic advanced synthesis experiment. Pulse audio volume control. It is. It was there uh, in the Linux Mint. So this is not from the Ubuntu uh, Studio. It was there in the Linux Mint itself. Pure data is a visual data flow program for multimedia. So you can create a uh, visual data flow regarding how the sound will flow through the different uh, devices. Quas configuration is the uh, ALSA configuration browser. Quas mixer is the graphical mixer application for ALSA. QJack control, it is uh, Jack audio con connection kit for uh, using the QT GUI interface. I think it is, uh, I don't know why it has installed two times or there are two entries. QMIDI ARP is a uh, ARP aggregator sequencer. I don't know, I have not used this. QMIDI net is a MIDI network uh, gateway via UDP IP multicast. Maybe it is some kind of networking application. So you can connect uh, uh, it to the network and maybe you can do a remote uh, uh, sharing of the audio track. I don't know exactly how it will work. MIDI routing is there. So it is to route the MIDI audio. QSynth is a fluid synth QT GUI interface. Rack Arac is the uh, guitar effects processor. Q Tractor is an audio MIDI uh, multi track sequencer application. So you can create, uh, you can use this to sequence uh, multiple audio and MIDI uh, tracks. Super Looper is a looping sampler. R MIDI mid GD control is a control RME digital 32 and RME DG96 sound card. So it is application to control this two particular sound cards. And this is the studio control. So if you I will show you what the studio control is, let it open. Meanwhile, uh, let us go back. It is not opening. I will click it again. It should work. Will take some time, I think. Okay, we will finish the other things. I don't know why it is not opening up. Uh, it should open up by the way. Okay, we will uh, uh, go further. Oshim is the real time synthesizer, Jita MU1 is application to. Okay, it is a stereo monitoring for the jack. Okay. 
and rev1 zeta is rework so uh, you can add additional reworks to the soundtrack virtual midi keyboard is there and these are different uh, software synthesizer real time software synthesizers real time software synthesizer this is also said so all these are different uh, software synthesizers one is using alsa other is using jack so you can connect your uh, music uh, tool using the jack and you can use that to create a uh, synthesize new sounds and uh, in this you can use the virtual uh, uh, virtual uh, sound tool or the sound uh, we can say uh, instrument musical instrument to create the soundtrack using alsa so it is inbuilt you have to use the virtual uh, sound instrument and here you can connect real time sound that is real uh, musical instrument uh, using the jack to your system and then create a different uh, audio tracks that's it why this uh, audio control is not working studio controls let me try like this okay i think uh, it should work uh, anyway we'll grow with the graph the, now check out the graphics design so this is how it works the blender uh, dark table digicam so this is all three applications have been added so digicam to manage your uh, photographs dark table to develop images blender is 3d animation and modeling tool this is the batch processor for the uh, your photographs this is the gimp uh, it, it is used to create images and edit photographs entangle is three third camera control so you can uh, install a camera connect a camera with your system and then control the camera this is hugin ca calibrate lens so you can use it to calibrate the lens you can panorama creator so you can stitch a panorama from using different uh, photos you can add and stitch those photographs photographs to create a panorama uh, photo inkscape is uh, scalable vector graphics images krita is digital painting my paint is there from the linux uh, mint i think this is from the linux mint and krita is from the this ubuntu studio so most of the different applications new applications have been added from the ubuntu studio and some of the applications are four or five applications are from the linux mint itself so this rapid uh, photo downloader was added pix was already there pico pixel is new sinefix studio it is used to create 2d animations and composition so this is newly added in the internet section you can see here the hex uh, i think this kd connect has been added transmission uh, probably it was there earlier hex chat was also there so this kd connect has been added in media playback you can see cellular was there hypnotics was already there rhythm box was there vlc has been added along with the voco screen ng it is a desktop uh, recorder it has got very good features you can use this for your day to day desktop recording and x X, uh, xj adio that is simple video player that has been added so these three applications have been added and now in the settings you can see what has been added we'll just scroll to the bottom so not much here i think in the system we can see what different things have been added the ubuntu studio installer is there the only thing that is uh, that is not working is i think here is the uh, yes and here you can see the ubuntu studio cafe has been added ubuntu studio help is that added so you can use the studio help to know more about ubuntu studio use it as a manual to work around the ubuntu studio so if you are a newcomer you have to go through this help that will give you much knowledge how to use the ubuntu studio Ubuntu Studio mailing list is there, so you can add your uh, profile to the Ubuntu uh, mailing list, and you will get uh, time to time uh, emails, uh, communication, and emails, other help images, uh, help emails from the Ubuntu Studio. So that will be very interesting. And you have got this Ubuntu Studio uh, support chat. You can also join this Ubuntu Studio website is there. You can contribute to the Ubuntu Studio project. you can ask ubuntu you can get support so this is all what is added now i will what i will do is let us go back why this ubuntu uh, let me go back 
why the studio controls is not working it was working on my other desktop i don't know why it is not working here maybe i think uh, we should uh, let me check yes there is some uh, update to the ubuntu installer uh, the qjack control and the papyrus icon theme and the zeta alsa pcmi so this is some wrapper around the alsa api so we will install this and then do a reboot and then i think the ubuntu studio control should work there Now this update will add a uninstaller also. So up till now we only got the Ubuntu Studio installer. Now you will get a Ubuntu Studio uninstaller with this update for the Ubuntu Studio installer. Now I will show you how it works. If you install this uh, Ubuntu Studio on Linux Mint on a bare metal, then the Ubuntu Studio controls will work. But I think in virtual machine, I don't know why it is not working. Uh, maybe we will do one restart and then check if it is not working. But be sure it works on the bare metal installation. Right now it is on virtual machine. Maybe that is the reason. I don't know exactly what reason is that. But it definitely works uh, on the uh, bare metal installation. I have used this for around 4-5 days. I checked around all the video, photography and the publishing apps are all working properly. I don't know about the audio section. I have not used audio section. I am not a master of that. But video section, publishing, photography, everything is working. Yes. So now what we will do is I will just go back and check. Let us see what happens. So here you can see the Ubuntu Studio feature on installer is added. So now if you click on that, it will ask us which feature you want to uninstall. So you got options to uninstall uh, Ubuntu Studio Audio, Audio Course, uh, Audio Plugins, uh, then uh, Fonts, Graphics, Photography, Publishing and Video. So this is all what you can uninstall. I will not uninstall. Now let us go over to the Ubuntu Control, Ubuntu Studio Control. Studio. Oh, it is not coming up here. Uh, let me again uh, do the check. Okay, so what we will do is let us restart the system. Maybe that will work. Restart. Now we will do a reboot. Now let us close this. We'll go and open the audio production section. And now you have to hit the studio controls. I don't know why it is not working virtual machine, but it will definitely work on your bare metal. I am again telling you. We wait for the application to open up. Yes, now you can see it here, the Ubuntu Studio information. So the new section has been now added. You can see it here. This is all related to the Ubuntu Studio. You can use this to increase your knowledge and use the manuals to make the best use of the Linux Ubuntu Studio. We, uh, you, in the sections, you can see the media playback is working perfectly. The graphic design is working perfectly. You will also, uh, the video production is also working perfectly. I don't know how the audio production will work, but you can try. You can use the jack and all those different features, synthesizers and everything and check it for yourself. But I can vouch for the graphic design applications, media playback, video production. It is all working. So I will just now, we will do one just final uh, attempt to open up the studio controls it is working on my other laptop bare metal installation it was working but it is not working anyway you do this installation uh, it will work on the bare metal and with this i will stop the video here see you in the next video bye